Hello everyone, I'm your host, Alan Smithy. Tonight, we're going to be discussing Star Wars and May the 4th. I'm not new to celebrating May the 4th. Hello, Alan. Oh, Jesus Christ! Kathleen Kennedy, what are you doing in my toilet bowl? You know what, Kathleen? I got something for you, for me and all the other Star Wars fans. Get my tail out of the way. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on! No, Alan, don't! Please! Oh, yeah. Oh, so warm. Goodbye, Kathleen. But nowadays, Star Wars has never seemed further from the amazing world that it once was. It brings me no joy to say this, folks. I can't just close my eyes and pretend like I did all through The Force Awakens. It seriously gives me a headache when I consider all the bullshit I sat through. Just waiting for the good part to start. And it never did. You see, folks, when I was a younger man, not to be mistaken with me being a young man, Star Wars was like this. It was great. But once Disney got the hands on the IP, it was like this. Yay. You might find that a little crude, but it perfectly shows you how I feel about the situation. I'm not gonna lie. The Mandalorian gave me hope. It did. The Book of Boba Fett cleared that shit right up. Some of you might think I'm just being too hard on Disney. But just like my example earlier, it just isn't hard enough. Will Star Wars be shit from now on? God, I hope not. Hopefully, Disney will get off its ass trying to tell people how to raise their kids and just make good entertainment once again. Maybe having the ass handed to them with all the sweetheart deals in Florida yanked away will put them back to a time they didn't think they were too big to fail. Till that day comes, and I hope it will. May the Force be with you.